Hello everybody. Bob DeWitt wrote to me and asked if I could model a snail house. To be honest, I wanted to do this myself for quite some time. I simply didn't know how to do it. And then I dropped over a possibility in Modo which allows to make a snail house. It's not perfect, but it's quite all right. So let me start. I go to basic, select a circle. <coughs> Pardon me with uh, 16 sides. I'm in top view and bring this out. I make it 100 by 100 millimeters and put everything in the middle. Then I move this uh, to here and to up to here. So I make it 120 and minus 120 here and the center of the universe is here and depending on where I put this initial circle uh, the shape of the snail house will be different. So uh, let me go to vertex mode and control P then the three key select this polygon and delete it. Control P is available in uh, versions below 7.1 uh, 701 and when you have this curves palette then you can use this uh, possibility. Rather than copying and pasting edges, this should work also in Modo 601 and I believe even in 501. Okay, let's go to the duplicate and radial sweep does not help here, neither does radial array because we cannot change the shape of our initial uh, profile. But we can use the clone tool. The clone tool allows us to have some offset on all the axes, scale something and rotate it. And uh, I want to make five windings on our snail house. So I do this to 30% and 60 here. This should give 5 times 360. The scale is 100%. That's uh, not working. So I put this to, let's see, 85%. And then Action Center Origin and click in the viewport. Let's have a different view, this one. Uh, that's probably not good. So I click on here, then I can use the mouse wheel and bring this up till I am happy. Yeah, 95% looks good. Now we have uh, another little problem because I use 30 degrees, then all our uh, different circles which are 60 all together lie on top of each other and you will see this is not so good so I put this to 32 degrees and now we can see all and the reason I did it was because Modo 701 has a very nice feature in the bridge tool it's called continuous bridges and it means we can select more than one curve but it has to be selected in the proper uh, sequence. So if you don't have Modo 701 I'm afraid 
then uh, you need to manually bridge all these curves together. And I can now just paint select these, go a bit closer, shift, click again. And hopefully this was all in the right direction. And now we can go perspective mode and just uh, go to edge bridge, make sure remove polygons is active, otherwise the curves will stay in and click in the viewport. And here is something which looks like a snail house. I delete the grid and I don't have wires it seems. No. Next I go to the front view and go to deform twist and we want to twist around the x axis. and maybe minus 30 degrees. Yes, that's good. Okay, <clears throat> now I select this edge here, set key and bring it down to about here, R key, flatten it out and make it a bit wider, like so. Um, now I need to close this here. So P for polygon, put the polygon and then action center selection, R key, and make this smaller. Now we have to fake the end of this spiral. By uh, I put in a sphere here. So work plane align to selection, top view. 18 by 8, that sounds not bad. OK. Reset the work plane. A key, let's see. W key. Something like this. This will be very small when we render it. OK, so next, uh, by the way, the back of the snail house is not uh, looking right, but I think it went more on how to make this spiral. Um, next we must thicken this and I don't want to thicken everything. This would uh, cause problems because these are is very small geometry here. So L key, then select shift up arrow, select sum here, control copy, N for a new mesh, control V, and then I can uh, resize this mesh, action center, normal, and I make it a bit smaller. Then I select this edge here, R key again, but action center selection. So to, we make sure that it does not poke out uh, through the outer hull. Then front view, 
I take this one W key, bring it down to here. R key, make it a bit narrower, like so. Then we have to flip everything. Now I can control X this, go to my original mesh, control V. And we can now <coughs> bridge these together and put in some yeah, something like this, all three to convert it to polygons and W key bring it down to about here. So and if we subdivide this, this looks pretty nice. Let's do a render. Uh, I go first to the render camera here to select a nice view. And I think I go up with the render level to 4. Go to here and I use this wood texture here and select a nice environment, maybe this one. And maybe a bit less direct light, maybe only one here. Yes. And make a bit a bigger render window. And render it out. And here is the snail house. I hope you liked it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.